Tonight at Klein's Garage, we're going to be assembling this B-Series short block. Right now, I have the new bearings put in and the crank set in place. And I bought some Plasti Gauge. I have the pieces cut to rough length, about halfway, um, I shouldn't say halfway, most of the way across uh, the main journal. What you want to do is try to set them square, perpendicular to the way it spins. Once you get all five of them put in place, there you have the other four in. We're going to take the main caps and gingerly set the main caps in place. What you want to make sure you don't do is move the crankshaft. If you spin the crankshaft, you're going to smear the plastic gauge and it's going to throw your measurement off. So, once you get the main caps in place, try to get them seated down in the dowel pins, get all your bolts started, and thread everything down and torque at the factory specifications. All the main bolts were torqued down to the factory spec, which is 56 foot-pounds on the end, 1 and 5, and 2, 3, and 4 are 49 foot-pounds. So we're going to remove, gingerly remove the one of them here, and we're going to check the width and see how much the plastic gauge crushed. So according to this, there's one thousandth clearance. We saw that we had one thousandth or a little bit less than one thousandth clearance on our number one main journal using the plastic gauge. Plastic gauge is good, it's, it's pretty accurate, but I want to be a hundred percent sure what's going on in my motor. So I'm going to be using some other tools here that, uh, that I picked up recently. So, I'm going to be using my 2 to 3 inch micrometer and my newly acquired digital board gauge. I was borrowing a, an analog gauge from, uh, from a friend of mine, but picked this up recently off Amazon for, I don't know, hundred some dollars. But, so first thing we're going to do to check our main clearance is open your mic up. Bring your mic in. We're gonna measure using your ratchet here. I also showed how to do this on another one of my videos. All right, so we got. 164 164.7 so 164 thousandths of 7 10,000 now we have the micrometer uh, gently clamped into a vise it makes it way easier to do this uh, it's almost impossible to do it by hand take your digital board gauge we have the, this is the exact outside diameter of our number one main journal. So stick your bore gauge in here. What we're going to do is you want to center the bore gauge and watch your readout. What you want to do is find the smallest spot and that's where you want to zero it. So hit your zero.
once you hit your zero once you bring it out don't be confused it's gonna change because it's spring-loaded so once we stick this into our main journal the reading that we get after it's brought into our main journal will be the amount of the difference will be the amount of oil clearance we have try to center this and you always want to go straight up and down with a piston because this is where all your load is the side there's no load on it so this is the most critical part right here all right so see our smallest measurement right there eight nine we had a seven. We're looking about eight, eight ten thousandths of an inch. We're reading this upside down, so it's uh, eight ten thousandths of an inch is the difference between the ID of our bearings and the OD of our crankshaft. Eight tenths is uh, well below the factory spec for this engine. Factory spec for a GSR engine is 1.3 thousandths or 13 ten thousandths. That's our minimum. Our maximum on new assembly is uh, 2 thousandths of an inch. The service limit is uh, 24 tenths, 2.4 thousandths. So since this is a race engine, I'm going to be assembling this engine on the try to try to get it set to the loose to the loose end of that specification, anywhere between. Uh, 18 tenths and um, 20 or 1.8 thousandths and two thousandths of an inch so these bearings that I have and I'm using now are ACL race bearings there's a the part number there's also a 5m 1959 HX the X stands for one thousandths additional oil clearance so the bearings are going to be are going to be half a thousandth or five ten thousandths of an inch thinner. So what that'll accomplish is it'll it'll allow a combination of half a t half a thousandth on the bottom and half a thousandth on the top for a combination of one total. So this is at seven tenths clearance right now. So if I would throw a set of X bearings in, in theory, it should put it right around. Uh, 1.7 or 17 tenths oil clearance which would be optimal on the center three I'd done those earlier and I would got roughly about 13 tenths clearance so if I would go with X bearings across all five mains the center ones would be about 23 <clears throat> about 23 tenths clearance which would be a little bit too much it'd be over over what our, our uh, maximum new installation spec is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use, in the center ones, I'm going to use the uh, one X bearing probably on the top or on the bottom. I don't know. I might end up putting it on the bottom because there's more load on the bottom bearing. Either way, uh, if you split one side X and one side standard, that'll give you five, that'll give you five ten thousandths extra. So let's say we're at 13, 5 tenths extra should put us about 18 tenths or 1.8 thousandths right in the middle of our, uh, you know, uh, spec for, for clearance. So as always, have fun, stay safe.